We hope you're enjoying the Mutual Audio Network. Stick around, there's much more to come. The following audio drama is rated G for general audience. This episode of Bells in the Bat Free was originally released February 4th, 2011. May I help you, sir? Uh, yes, I'm John Bell. Mm Mm-hmm. I have an appointment. Mm Mm-hmm. To see Mr. Starnbormer. Mm Mm-hmm. So, is he available? Oh, I'll find out. What was that name again? Bell, uh, John Bell. Mr. Bell, you have a Uh, guest in the lobby. No, no. Mr. Bell, uh, you have a guest in the lobby. I'm John Bell. Hi, you have a guest waiting for you. No, no, I'm the guest. Really? Yes. Well, I never would have guest. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, that was a good one. Now, listen, if I could... (laughs) Yeah. Listen, if I could uh, see... uh, (laughs) Mr. Starnbormer. Who? Mr. Starnbormer. And who are you here to see, Mr. Starnbormer? I'm here to see Mr. Starnbormer. Are you his brother? I'm John Bell. Oh, that's okay. (sighs) Excuse me. May I help you, sir? My name is John Bell. I'm here to see Mr. Starnbormer. I see. Do you have an appointment? Yes. Yes, I do. With whom? Mr. Starnbormer. Oh, I'll let him know you're here. Thank you. Feel free to sit in our lobby and listen to any of our quality radio shows on your headphones. Thank you, thank you. I I don't have any headphones, but... Here you go. Oh, thank you, thank you. Well, I'll just wait in the... Uh, uh Mr. Bell? Yes? Two dollars. Two dollars. For, For the, the headphones. headphones. Should have seen that coming. All right, uh, here you go. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I'll just uh, sit here in the lobby and uh, no magazines. I... Guess I'll listen to one of their radio shows. And I'll just plug this headphone into one of these hundreds of outlets on this chair arm and... So, uh, what have you got for me? Something very interesting. Come look at this body on the table. Uh, at first I thought the cause of death was merely this first bullet, which as you can see... Mm. Entered the parambulum here, uh-huh. and I uh, came through the spleen, and uh, took a northward turn through the heart, and uh, bounced off the cariambium, uh-huh. and passed out through the uh, duodenum. Mm. But that was not the cause of death. Notice as I make an incision along the carambula here, uh-huh. then I heal back the skin. You can see that a sharp instrument had been inserted through the cariambium district, uh-huh. and had skewered both the repaliated corum and the decorated rhomboid. Mm -hmm. Uh, These organs here were removed by whoever Ah. did this and left with a pink ribbon wrapped around them next to the body. I see. So what you're telling me is, this isn't the dry cleaners. No, no, they're two doors down. I'm terribly sorry for this. No, it's okay. No, no, it happens all the time. You're the third person in this morning. Uh, Listen, is there a place I can... Yeah, there's a sink right over there. Thank you, thank you. Mr. Bell? Mr. Bell, here comes Mr. Starnbormer. Oh, thank you. Hello, Mr. Who is this podcaster cluttering up my lobby? What the heck? Who is this unfortunate? That's Mr. Bell. He's your three o'clock. Step into my office, won't you, Mr. Bell. Bell. Yes. Oh, my. Welcome to Raccoon Radio. Thank you. A subsidiary of the Squirrel TV network. Yes. We lately have been purchasing the rights to podcasts Mm -hmm. to put on our radio network, and we have heard your show, your... Bells in the Bat Free. Yes. Yes. And we feel it has potential. Oh. I'd like to introduce you to my two main brainstormers. This is Sid. Hello. And this is Alice. How'd you do? Hello. They've listened to your show and have some suggestions. Suggestions. We love your show just as it is. But we need a dog. A dog that drives a bus. And is a spy at night. A super-powered spy. Whose wife is a bartender. A dog can't have a wife. His superpower is that he turns into a human. Love it. And his wife is a spy. No, not a spy. A cop. A forensic cop. Her name could be Bones. Dogs like Bones. This dog does. But only when he's a dog. No, also when he's human. A superhuman. Who owns a private 
Forensics Lab. Love it. Between the two of them, we can have wall-to-wall gore. That's the perfect name for the series, wall-to-wall gore. Isn't that the name of the reality series we did starring an ex-vice president? There wasn't a dog in that show. Drop the dog. Make it a ballerina. A gay ballerina. A gay ballerina forensics expert. Who's a spy? Sorry, that's my phone. It's Brad. I better take this. Hello, Brad. What is it? Mr. Mill, I got some great news. I got some sponsors lined up for the podcast just in time for the Super Bowl. Uh And all of them have great Super Bowl specials. Um, They're going to be the official Super Bowl. No, 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 no. no. You you can't do that, Brad. I'm sorry. The term Super Bowl and all the related verbiage is copyrighted. And you can't tie in to the Super Bowl in advertising unless you get permission. And this permission involves a hefty fee. Oh. Mr. Bell, these clients are lined up. They're ready to go, and it all depends on them tying into the Super Bowl. I'm sorry, Brad, but you can't do it. We'll get oh. sued. It's all just... right, all right, all right, all right. I'll think of something. I'll call you back. Wait a minute, Brad. What do you mean you'll... Brad? Hello? Oh, boy. Um, please continue. Where were we? The gay ballerina forensics expert spy. The spy shoots people and then performs autopsies to see what killed them. Love it! With music! Yes, the coroner breaks into song and dance. We could get celebrity bodies! And the bodies sing and dance. And zombies! Singing, dancing zombies! In a law firm! With hot lawyers! Superhuman hot lawyers! Who have a forensics lab! Goes without saying. We need a gimmick. Mm, a gimmick for a show about singing, dancing, hot lawyer, superhuman zombies. How about, uh, they're also cops. Psychic cops. With personality disorders. They're homicidal maniacs. They throw killer donuts. The sprinkles explode. They're also paramedics. So they can try to heal the people they try to kill. In a forensics lab. A perfect family comedy. Uh, excuse me, gotta catch this. Yes, Brad, what is it? I sold an ad to Joe's Soup Palace, Mr. Bell, for the day of the big game, you know. Joe's going to be selling bottomless bowls of soup. You pay for one bowl, and you can refill it as much as you want. It's the Soup Per Bowl party. Oh, <laughs> I, I don't know, Brad. That's that's kind of pushing it. Look, I'll talk to you later about this, okay? Right. Wink, wink. <laughs> no, 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 that wasn't it's time, Mr. Bell. a wink, wink thing, Brad. Okay, uh, continue, please. We've got to throw some nerds in there. Yes, nerds are big. That's it, giant nerds. Giant killer nerds. With hot girlfriends. In space. Battling aliens. Hot aliens. In fast cars. Lots of car chases. On the moon. In a big city on the moon. With lawyers. And cops. And And a a forensics forensics lab. lab. What is it this time, Brad? I sold an ad to Linda's Beef Palace. She's going to have her prize bull on display during the big game. The bull can really use a bath. It smells pretty bad. So volunteers can help wash this bull. Yes, it's the Soap Her Bull Party. I'll get back to you later, Brad. Bye-bye. Wink, wink. No winkies. <sighs> Okay, go on. Our giant killer lawyer nerds on the moon needs a twist. To make it unique. To make it stand out. To make it different. We could take away the forensics lab. Not that different. Mm. How about smart-mouthed kids? They talk back to everybody. And the parents are all idiots. And they get into all sorts of mischief. On the moon. And their giant killer nerd lawyer parents have to defend them. In the courtroom. Which has a forensics lab. And a hot nightclub. With scantily clad dancers. Vying for a million dollar prize. Now that's reality. We've got your show, sir. It's guaranteed to be a winner. Lay it on me. CSI CSI Milwaukee. Love it. Yes, Brad. Wally's well digging. Wally's well digging. Yeah, Wally digs wells for people. He does an excellent job. In fact, he's going to have a big blowout to celebrate the superior quality of every well he digs. Superior quality of his wells. Yeah, he's going to have a superb hole party. (sighs) May I borrow that large metal pitcher for just a moment? Thank you. I'm hanging up now, Brad. Bye. Now, please continue. So, Mr. Bell, as you can see, our ideas are much better than yours, and it would behoove you to join Raccoon Radio. Well, yeah, but all those ideas you had, that that's not my style. I don't know if I could write that sort of thing. <laughs> you don't need to, Mr. Bell. My two associates here also will do all the writing for you. What? They'll put your name on it, of course. They'll just ghost write it. But, but, but... No one will ever know. Your ghost riders will even change their appearance. Their appearance? Mr. Bell, you may as well face it. Your brain is cramped, ideals are gone, imagination's dead. I don't know if I'd go quite so far as to say that. You may as well stop writing and let us all write instead. Look, I've done pretty good so far. I would think that... Except for the improvement, nobody will suspect that ghost riders are working... 
to improve the show you wrecked. I didn't wreck my show. Though it seems strange, our appearance will change. No, don't say it. Don't say it. Don't say it. And be ghost writers in disguise. You said it. You really think this is going to work? We aren't quite done, Mr. Bell. We have another chorus in a slightly higher key, as you may notice. With costumes on, we type in on your next big battery script. Yeah, it is a little higher, isn't it? With thrills and chills and coffee spills from the headlines, it is ripped. Look, can I go now? Um, when everybody listens to your very next podcast, they'll say, what a terrific show! At last. Oh, thanks a lot going on now? This is the breakdown. I think I'm going to have a breakdown if you keep this up. Well, just relax, Mr. Bell. We're heading toward the big finish now. Oh, uh, the grand finally? Grand finally. Because it's finally over? Oh. <laughs> oh, yes, we have got... So you get it? Finally, finale? <laughs> All sorts of plots. Ah, but can you write really, really bad puns? We're ghost writers in disguise. We're all quite the rage. We charge by the page. Wait, wait, what, what do you mean you charge? Wait, wait. We're ghost writers in disguise. I thought you were paying me. I pay you. We're ghost writers in. We will write stuff for you guys. We're ghost writers in disguise. This. Just sign right here, Mr. Bell, for a limited contracted run. All right. Thank you. You won't be sorry. <laughs> you have been listening to episode 120 of Bells in the Bat Free. All contents are copyright 2011 by John Bell. Thanks for listening. Join us again next time. Hello, I'm John Bell of Bells in the Bat Free. It's a comedy podcast. Fridays and every other Sunday. Well, anyway, back in episode five of Bells in the Bat Free... We introduce the cowlets, tiny little cows. Where did all these cats come from? They're not cats, they're cows, and they're heading toward the water cooler. Stop it before... Now you can display your love of these tiny cows with genuine cowlet t-shirts. You know what's really fun to do with these shirts? Get a whole bunch of people to buy them. Then you all gather together and run down the street. People will see these cowlets coming toward them and think it's a stampede. You think that would really work, Brad? Shh, I'm pushing for bulk sales here. You can also get cowlet mugs, clocks, and other items. Just go to thebatfree.com and click on shop. This is a limited time offer. No, it's not. You just do not not understand advertising, do you? Get your merchandise today with the official Cowlet design created by Jeff Music. Buying lots of them would bring music to my ears. Oh, stop. Stop.